Welcome back to another product review and today we're going to take a look at the Art of DreamWorks Puss in Boots The Last Wish. So there we go, that is the front and the back and the spine. There is a cover that reveals that, that's cool, that's the spine crown like that all right let's see actually i just unwrapped this i like this already you know me if you watch these i like the sketches the rough parts that's cool not just all finished paintings and renders but i haven't looked at this yet i haven't read through it this is a first opening crafting the special fairy tale look i did like the movie a lot though especially the ending was really cool that's cool Cool mood in the lighting. Ooh. Yes, please. I hope there are a lot of these. It's a slippery book. That's the review. It's a slippery book. There we go. The hero. Now, this movie has been out for a while. So beware of spoilers. Kitty soft paws. See, with these kind of uh, expressions, I would have loved these in sketch form. Like the whole page of like the kind of exploration of the facial expressions instead of the model. That's how picky I am about all this, like stuff like that, but for characters. The sets were really cool though. The style was neat. I like how it switched from ones to twos. Just the animation style was, had different changes to it. The, the character designs were really cool too. The world was really neat. Governor's Mansion. <laughs> nice. The whole opening was neat too. That's cool, I like that faces and expressions so far a bit light on like different character designs and explorations i say this and then this shows up that's cool look at that i like that for sure that's cool yes okay love this the doctor's office i think this is old enough to not have to go for spoilers every time See that? That's what I was missing for the other characters so far. That's cool. I like that. Nice props. We got some, ooh, some storyboards to finish. That's funny. Uh, actually, a student of mine just did a shot similar like that where a character is in a cannon. It's a cantina. That's cool. And then of course we're going to get to the wolf. He was really neat. Love the music too. The score was cool. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Every time he showed up, it was really neat. Cool voice acting too. Entered the big bat wolf. Here's the escape sequence. And then we get introduced to new characters. Definitely a big focus on sets, sets and props and colors, environments, more so than characters so far. <laughs> Every time I say this, something like that comes up. So I should say that more often. That's cool though. I love that. Those are great. That's the stuff that I would scan in and keep in my reference library and kind of Every now and then look at that again for inspiration. Ooh, see that? That's what I'm looking for. More or stuff like that. Where did those characters start? What were the variations, design changes? That's cool. Well, I mean, you might argue this is not the first uh, Puss in Boots movie or where that character showed up. So why show those designs in early iterations again, since it's it's been so long. So you want to focus more on these characters. I get that. That's cool. That's nice. I love stuff like that in terms of animation shots. Sometimes students ask me, you know, what kind of ideas, what should you do? for a shot and then to me it's sometimes you go backwards so although backwards but you don't look at the characters but you look at something like this you have this kind of set piece or that or this the trunk going out or this coming out here and then you think well what could you do shot wise within this environment so you look at environments first that give you shot ideas so cool i love these these are great look at that one that's cool papa bear <laughs> again great page to scan 
Mama Mayhem. That being said, imagine someone didn't buy previous art of books or has never seen Puss in Boots and would like to see more design exploration of the characters. Dare I say, it would still be cool to implement these or to uh, add them. That's cool. I love that. Especially with the silhouettes. See, that's a cool, cool shot idea. Set placement and all that. Nice. That face was bonkers. Jack Horner. See what well, then? That's kind of that. It's a bummer. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I am uh, expecting different things. That's cool though. Definitely like this in terms of exploration of the set pieces, props. That's cool. That's funny. It definitely has a specific style. I'm not sure if you're going to see pages exploring like render options and you know effects and stuff like that. And I'm going to sound like a broken record, and I will for a long time until some art of book comes in to dethrone the bad guys art of book, which. It's just so tailored towards me. I'm not saying this is bad. I like this a lot. I like especially for backgrounds and colors. This one's really cool. Look at that. Come on. That's cool. So I think there's a heavy, heavy focus on environments and the painterly look, which I think is really neat. And if you are into an art of book, so cool. I love this. The silhouette. That guy is so cool. Um, that focus on characters, effects, and kind of mouth shapes and finger poses hand poses like stuff like that uh the bad guys to me is still my favorite but that is a personal preference because i do love stuff like that that's cool headed towards the end spoilers a great sequence there too yeah it's just there are a lot of really cool moments in this movie i have to say that's cool cool shape canyon that's nice look at that Trust Falls. Always cool to see storyboards though. It's always neat to see the differences between the boards. Because it's sometimes it's just tricky to get your 2D boards are flat. And in that movie, especially at the beginning, I had so many dynamic cameras to take, depending on how the animatics are done and, and uh, the storyboards slash animatics in terms of movement. Sometimes it gets a bit tricky to put that into 3D, but then how they did that, that was cool too. Spoilers! We're headed towards the end here. Happily ever after. Nice colors. And there we go. Headed towards the end. Oh, that's neat. You don't always see that. That's cool. Acknowledgements. Last couple of pages again. Stuff like that. So cute. And there you go. That is the end here. And back to the front. With the cover. Puss in Boots. The Last Wish. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend it. It was really cool, really fun, cool action, especially at the beginning. It's really bonkers, cool style and like sense of scale of the, I won't spoil it too much if you haven't seen it, but like the big things fighting the small things anyway. And then the bad guy, I don't know. Cool stuff, I like it, I recommend it, go watch it. And that's it for the page through, thanks for watching. And what's coming up next is going to be that. Very cool. I like this, this is part two of the art of book. Again, lots of stuff in there. That's really neat. I like this a lot. So this is going to be next. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you want. If you're not missing any of those uploads, totally up to you. Like and subscribe. The algorithm pitch at the end, as you know it. But that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next upload.